Hi everybody, happy Mother's Day. You know, I was thinking about mothers this morning and I was thinking about how much I miss my mom and how wonderful it was to have her for all of the years of my life that I did. And what a precious gift it is to have a mom. You know, the Bible says that a woman is like a merchant ship. She brings her food from afar, she rises while it's yet night, and provides food for her household and a portion for her maidservants. She watches over the ways of her house and her husband. She does not eat the bread of idleness, and she's not afraid of snow because her household is clothed with scarlet. She extends her hand to the poor. She reaches out her hands to the needy. A woman of God is gracious. She's gracious to her household and gracious to her family, gracious to those that are in need. She's a woman of grace and a precious gift from God. Today, I want all of you to know that you are a precious gift to your children, to your husband, to your neighbors, to your church family. God has made you very special in his sight. And when I was thinking about that, I started to write this little poem that God was giving me about the life of a mom. It goes like this. Dad comes home from work wiped out, he hits his chair, and mom gets right on his case saying, is this really fair? All day long you're out there enjoying your day and your life, and all day long I'm stuck inside with your kids and all this work. I need a wife. Don't you think that you could help me? I mean really, I've got so much to do, and my day, it's only half over. It's at least eight more hours before I'm through. Well, Dad gets really agitated, thinking there is just no way. That woman's lost her mind. I've worked hard all day. The house gets deathly quiet as Dad stays put and stands his ground. But silently, he says a prayer that God would turn things around. God, she just doesn't get it. She only sees her little plight. But when it comes to the real world, she's kind of lost sight. I pray that you'd switch us up and let her be me for just one day. Maybe then she'd realize that I work while Mama plays. Well, now God granted that prayer, and Daddy woke up anew. He was in Mama's body, getting set to do the things Mom would do. Well, Mom does the dishes. Mom cooks the food. Mom comforts everyone's heart and puts up with everybody's bad mood. Mom feeds the dog, ties the hair bows. She takes out the garbage and cleans the windows. Mom straightens the kitchen, scrubbing and cleaning all day, picking up after the kids, constantly putting things away. Mom scouring and polishing, weeding the garden too, doing the laundry, changing the beds. Why, there's really nothing mom doesn't do. Up and down, cleaning everywhere, the walls, the baseboards, the doors. She straightens the cupboards, cleans the oven, and scrubs all the floors. Then she hangs out all the bedding in the sunshine and fresh air. And the kids watch with delight and without a single care. She tidies up all the bedrooms and the bathrooms with rubber gloves and a rag. Ugh, that toilet's quite the sight. It made Mama gag. Then when the house was sparkling and shining, everything vacuumed and looking great, this mom was overjoyed, but oh my goodness, wait. The living room is quite the sight, like a disaster zone. Potato chips are everywhere, mixed with chewed up doggy bones. Blankets, pillows and pop cans, toys, board games, and gum? I'm going to kill those kids. This mom has come undone. Well, now it's time for supper. Mama cooks the favorite meal. Well, she starts to think, wow, this is really quite the deal. I can't wait till it's bedtime and God can switch me back. I'm tired beyond words right now. I just want to hit the sack. But I got to help with homework, make lunches and bake some bread. There's still lots of things to do before this mama can go to bed. Finally, the hour has come and mama slips between the sheets and daddy cuddles up calling her my sweet. Oh no, she thinks. It cannot be. I'm lifeless and nearly dead. But she remembers her wifely duty 
and turns to him instead. Then, when things are quiet and peaceful, he realizes, man, was I off track. Mama's got quite the life. I can't wait for God to switch us back. So, Lord, now, please forgive me for not understanding and helping my wife. Please give me back my body and give me back my life. He heard the father chuckle. I can't right now, you know. Check with me nine months from now. You got pregnant 15 minutes ago. <laughs> God, don't you love his perfect timing? And I can tell you, when we have to walk in someone else's shoes, we certainly appreciate them. So I want you to know, ladies, that I know you, I understand you, I'm one of you, and I appreciate you. And I love all the fathers, too. God bless you, and happy Mother's Day.